In this video, we will take you through the various components and the ingenious workings of the charfia. First, let's take a closer look at the construction of the charfia enclosure. The charfia is typically set up in shallow waters where tidal currents are strong. Sturdy stakes are driven into the seabed, forming the framework. The magic happens when we interweave palm fronds between these stakes. These palm fronds create a natural barrier that fish find difficult to swim around. Now, let's move to the strategic placement of traps. These traps are carefully positioned at the narrow end of the V-shaped enclosure. This is where the fish will ultimately be captured. The charfia capitalizes on the natural behavior of fish are attracted to dark places, and the palm fronds provide just that. As the fish follow the current, they are drawn into the charfia. Once inside, the fish are faced with a clever design. The traps are usually made of reeds or flexible materials, allowing fish to enter, but preventing them from escaping. Finally, when the tide has ebbed and the fish are safely trapped, fishermen can easily collect the catch. This efficient technique is not only effective, but also sustainable, as it minimizes harm to the marine environment. The charfia is not just a fishing method, it's a part of cultural heritage in many communities. As we explore its intricate design and functioning, we gain a deeper appreciation for this age-old tradition.